the House Oversight Chair, James Comer, said the panel will vote on holding FBI Director Christopher Wray in contempt of Congress. Why? Well, he refused to hand over a document as part of the investigation into the Biden family's business dealings. Congressman Pat Fallon is on the Oversight Committee and he joins us this morning. Congressman, thanks for being here. Uh, my first question to you is what will holding, what will holding Ray in contempt actually do? Well, maybe it'll actually uh, uh, get him to be accountable to Congress. Uh, because he's supposed to be. And, you know, he's been accused uh, by many, and including myself, of holding the water for Joe Biden. And here he is for the world to see, holding the water for Joe Biden. We've been asking for this document for a month. And it is what an FD 1030 or 1023 is. It's an accusation someone makes. Yeah. So is it credible or not? Well, we can't tell that unless we see it. Well, they did apparently offer for you to go to the agency and look at it yourself, and that's not good enough? Well, I think that uh, it was just James Comer that was going to go, uh, was invited to the agency, not oh. the entire committee. And of course, they're not going to let him take photos. That's uh, with suspicious activity reports. But I understand that because that's financial uh, information. This is si simply yeah. a non-classified document, and we should be able to look at it. Yeah, that's that's not. All right, next one for you, Congressman. The House, of course, we know passed the debt ceiling uh, a bill last night. You voted no. Uh, why why don't you support it? Well, you know, we were on Fox Business, and Fox Business viewers understand that you cannot continually mm. spend more than you take in. And we're, we have a $32 trillion debt, and what Limit Save Grow had done was said that we're not, we're not going to grow that deficit by any more than a trillion and a half, which in and of itself isn't good. But with Limit Save Grow, we were going to take the debt to GDP ratio from 118% to 106%, so a good first step. What this did was their potential growth is $4 trillion, not to mention the student loan program would still survive. The IRS agents, 98% of them, would still most likely be hired, and we don't need 87,000 new IRS agents. And we needed work requirements for those folks on welfare. And they had phase outs and exemptions in this. So it just wasn't quite good enough for me. Very good. Last one, uh, last subject for you, Congressman. Virginia, West Virginia, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Those are the latest states to announce that they're going to send the, the National Guard to the southern border. Uh, what is the latest on the situation in Texas? It couldn't be worse. We went from a crisis when Joe Biden opened the gates when he got into office a couple of years ago, and then it went to a catastrophe, and now we're bordering on the cataclysmic. He's made every state a border state. So we thank uh, the, the states that are bringing folks down here. The more the merrier. Let's secure the border and keep Americans safe. Yeah, safe, but, uh, you know, we, we were told that after the expiration of Title 42, it was just going to be a free-for-all. Has that been the case? Mm -hmm. There was a bit of a lull, but uh, they suspect it's for several different reasons. Because yeah. the cartels, the, the cartels control us on the border, but the federal government doesn't. So it's up to really, it's up to them. If they want to flood the border, they will, and they do. While I have you here, we've been talking a lot this morning about China and perhaps the lack of this administration's efforts to really combat what is becoming an increasingly uh, aggressive Beijing. What do you think the U.S. should be doing that we're not? Well, let's say, for instance, and that's a very good point, under President Trump, the Chinese flew sorties mm. into the Taiwanese defense exclusionary zone about 300 times a year. When Joe Biden got into office, they tripled yeah. it to 900. So they're probing and they're testing for weakness. So we need to be very firm, and Biden needs to look Xi in the eye. And how about talking about fentanyl that killed 80,000 Americans last year? Most of the precursors are made yeah. in China. So demand accountability and say, you need us more than we need you. Okay, we do a lot of trading together, but you need to be a better partner moving forward. I uh, just want to quickly, while I have you here, I'm going to co I'm covering all sorts of topics, but the uh, the GOP primary for president getting really interesting, certainly on the mm -hmm. GOP side. Uh, but then we have on the Democratic side a president who is going back to the basement strategy. What are your thoughts on that? Really, uh, you know, can he get along? Can he get away with that as we move further and further towards next year? I would love to see nothing more than Joe Biden remain in his basement because he is, it is going to eventually cost him in November. <laughs> People want a vibrant president that can be a leader, and we've seen time and again that he's failed. And you've got Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump, and you know what? No one's ever accused them of not being vibrant and passionate about what their beliefs are, and these are strong leaders. Yeah. So you've got strong leaders, and then you've got Joe Biden eating popcorn in the basement and uh, having some uh, <laughs> 31 flavors of Baskin-Robbins. You know, I think the theory on the Democrat side is let the Republicans tear each other apart and we'll just pick it up after they've, you know, after that. I mean, I'm not sure if that's a successful strategy. Are you? 
No, because we see that every time in a primary. There's a you know internal fight, and then yeah. some sometime after Super Tuesday, we're going to all unite uh, behind a candidate, and we're going to whoop Joe Biden in November of 2024. We're going to save this country. Well, what a good place to leave it. Congressman Pat Fallon <laughs> from Texas, thank you so much, Congressman. Appreciate it. Covered a lot of ground today.